Today, I want to talk to you about something that has really been bothering me for quite some time. You see, I've been advising development cooperation projects with their communications efforts for many years now. And there's this one thing that really frustrates me. Whenever I ask these projects to focus on the added value to their target groups, I keep on receiving the same kind of contents for all the newsletters, websites, and so forth. It's always about what the project has been doing, how well it's been doing it, some stats and why it's so great, you know, all these sort of things. So I've been pondering why this happens all the time. And one answer obviously comes together with that projects are using junior staff and uh, there's a lot of turnover. It's always new people that I have to work with. And obviously the project leads tell them, you know, you need to talk about your, our project, you know, so it's all very obvious. Now, what is wrong with this from my perspective? So don't get me wrong. There's nothing inherently wrong with showcasing a project's accomplishments. But when it comes to your communication outreach, your main goal should be to cater to your target group, you know, the group that you decided that you want to talk to in this particular instance. So you need to listen to them first, you need to know what they want, understand them, or at least if you don't talk to them, you need to sort of think about what it could be. And then you sit down and you provide to them what they value. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're running a restaurant and uh, you keep on talking about what the restaurant is doing in your, in your work, you know, in your, your marketing. And how great it is and the food and this and that. So in, instead, you know, you focus on what the customers want. You need to think about, you know, what they would like to hear from you. So you figure that out and you communicate that. And that is all obvious. You know, it's sort of the same thing. You first, you talk about how great the food is, then you know about, you know, what they want, then you talk about pizza, you know, this sort of thing. But now one day there's a special group coming to your uh, restaurant and you know, they are sort of restaurant testers or people that chefs themselves and they heard how great your food is. Now you obviously, you put in extra effort all fair and well, you know, you, you do that extra thing, but you know, this is not it. At some point, they ask you as the chef to come outside and talk to them. So you clean yourself up, you go out there and you talk to them. And obviously they don't want to hear from you now why the food is great or that the food is great and this and that. They have a specific interest and that obviously is how did you prepare this and that thing? How did you do this? You know, how, how come that this came out so great and how do you deal with the fact maybe even that you don't have enough staff and this sort of thing? It's a different audience. It's an inside audience that wants to hear certain things from you, not the regular stuff. So the same principle applies to communication and development projects. There's a distinction between the target group of your project, which is usually your beneficiary, and the target groups of your communication efforts. These communication target groups can include people from ministries, journalists, also influencers, as well as also your beneficiary. But they are a diverse group with various interests and needs, and they may not all directly benefit from your project. And they have different horizons in a way. So you need to make sure who you, who you target there. When you think about adding value, it's essential to consider this context. If you're creating an article for your peer group of other projects within a network, the value added will be different from what you showcase to your project's beneficiaries or to your taxpayers in your home country. In this case, you might focus on sharing lessons learned, addressing structural and procedural challenges, explaining how you overcame those obstacles, and you use specific methods and tools, what you use, you maybe change your language, uh, but you can still, you know, keep a very easy language, but you focus on those tools and methods and processes. 
The goal is to provide a generalized, maybe a little bit more abstract account that helps other projects understand the underlying structure and replicate that in their own settings, even if their projects are not very similar to those in many other aspects. You know, they're not thematically the same. They are in a different country, cultural, they're on a different level, regional and so forth. But for you, the challenge is to figure out what were sort of generalizable aspects that would be of interest to many other projects. You know, how did you deal with certain issues with your staff? Uh, how did you overcome certain resistance from certain groups and so forth? To summarize, when you talk about focusing on the added value in your communications, I'm not referring to the added values for your beneficiaries. I mean the added value that your audience, your readers, your viewers derives from consuming your communication product. Why do they spend their valuable time consuming your content, especially when it's work-related? Well, the answer lies in how you present your story. It's about sharing how you tackle challenges, explaining the problems you faced, offering the insights that others can use to improve their own projects. Remember, the target group for your communication effort is distinct from the target group of your project. Likewise, the added value you provide through your communication product is not the same as the value your project delivers. These concepts overlap, but they are separate entities. So the next time you work on a communication piece for your project, keep this in mind. Focus on the added value your audience will appreciate and find useful. It's all about delivering what they need and ensuring your communication product is desired, consumed and valued. So, thank you for joining me today. I hope this insight helps you rethink your communication strategy with your products that you send in and create an even more impactful project because communication adds to the impact of your project in the end. Remember, it's all about adding value to the right people in the right way.